There we go, yeah, I had to. I was, was reading from the last uh, puzzle. Wizard first. So this way. Okay, that's the harpist. Okay, um... How do we do this? No, there is no way. We may as well. All right. Towards a soldier, which is this one, I think.
Oh no, we cannot get up here now. Oh no, no, wait. I forgot the dragon. Oh no, the dragon. Oh, we can try to get that orb now. If I take that way, go up there, then I will not be able to come back. The best way is to take that orb at the same time. So I take it on my way back. So that means, um, let's try it. Thy knowledge is proven. Oh. Is that how I'm supposed to leave, I wonder? You are. Awfully high up. The trial of courage awaits. Draw thy sword, vanquish the foe before thee. Mm. Yeah, now, now let's take a moment here. We did get this one. Pretty good. Hmm. 
Oh. Here we got it. Boss's boots. Evan. You did it. I did. Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum, thou hast proven thyself worthy. A kingmaker shall be thine. Disappointment. Oh, uh, what's with uh, this little guy? Is he a monster? Oh, that cheek! Oh, that's charming. That it. That is monster indeed. I'm your flipping kingmaker, ain't it? Ain't I? You lot don't, you lot don't half know how to hurt a bloke's feeling. Hello. So you're my kingmaker. That's right, man. That I am, sunshine. Name's Lofty. Lovely to meet you at all. So I haven't passed the trial with um, flying colors. It looks like, which means he can become a king, king again. I get right. You went wrong there. It does indeed. You have my full permission to rule over a realm of your own. Um. Uh, thank you. I'm sorry if I seem ungrateful. It's just I was expecting someone, someone grander. Okay. Okay, stab me in the heart. Why don't you? The nerve. I'll have you know, I can look very grand indeed, but I have a, have a mind too. And not at the moment, like, but anyway. <laughs> it's time to make our bond official you got anything you you can uh, swear a pact over become a sacred treasure of kingdoms don't go giving me weapons okay with monster blood or anything like that you hear oh, oh of course i completely forgot it sound sounds like it's my sword and wand want to let me see come on man i haven't got all day How about what about this stick? Tidy, right? Let hang on, hang on. Really? A stick. 
He wants to make the sacred bond over a flipping stick. You're a one you are. Well, can't be helped, I suppose. Looks like a nice, sturdy one at least. Mm. Yes. Okay. Here it goes. Hold up the royal twig. It's beautiful! Right, oh, my turn! Yeah, that's us join oh. forever! I now pronounce us king and kingmaker. May the king's bond and now binds us remain thick and lustrous till death do us apart. Huh. A king's bond, huh? It doesn't look very thick to me. <laughs> well, uh, I've only just made it, ain't I? When Evan... When Evan by your kingdom gets going, he'll soon fatten up. Then we better start building our kingdom right away. That's a spirit man. Flip. I almost forgot. I've got something else amazing to give you, ain't it? Something's amazing? That's right, man. You get a lot of this little beauty. Tactic tweaker. Uh, what is some kind of stone tablet? Nah, man. Not just some kind of stone tablet. A stone tablet conta containing the almighty powers of me, your kingmaker. Or as I like to call it, the uh, tactic tweaker. Oh there. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, this seems to be... <laughs> this seems to be some... Um, some um, min-maxing here. Yes, as Lofty says, the Tweaker is a very special stone tablet. You can have all kinds of interest effect on how you do battle. You can access it from the main menu. If you can get it just, uh, if you can get it set just set just right, every battle you come across will be a breeze, man. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to look into that as well. That's gonna take more than once, I think, to tweak. Uh, yes, you know, we have n we have no idea what you're on about. <laughs> Fine, well, you just have a fiddle around with it, ain't it? You you'll soon figure out what it figure out what's All right. what. Alright, we've done what we came here to do. Let's go back to the Sky Pirate Space. <sighs> Talk about a refreshing breeze. There's Brazen. Alright, let's go and let the boss know we're back. We don't need to go that way. I think this is the faster way. Ahoy there. You made it back in one piece, and then a lad. And by the looks of your face, you didn't come home empty-handed. 
Now this is my Kingmaker Lofty. Ah, oh, is it indeed? Is a little, little painty. Oi! Says you, shorty. All right, just go with all. Make ready for a feast. Is King making swabs here to serve a celebration? <laughs> a feast, boss, truly. That night, the Sky Pirates celebrated Evan and his friend's success into the wee small hours. They all agreed that Evan was a fine young man indeed, and that he would make an even finer king. And then, morning came. Is it morning already? Gosh. Gosh. Evan. Huh? You mean to become king of this here world, is I not so? Yes. Well, now, there's a thing. I see something in ye. And I'm not the only one. What oh. are you doing? The men of Cloud Coil Canyon do hereby swear fealty. We serve you now, your majesty. Uh -huh. Gosh. So it was that the very Sky Pirates who had once sworn to take Evan's life now swore to devote their own lives to serving him. And with this fledgling following, he took his first steps on the long road to ruling the world. You seem pleased. I have a hard time to wrap where in the timeline are we? This reminds me very much about the story of the Wizard King. Can't surely be that, can it? I am. It all happened just as you said it would. I met lots of new people and made lots of new friends. Perhaps I really can keep my promise to Nella. <laughs> so you really are going to rule the world then? You don't do things by halves, do you? But building a kingdom is hard work, and building a great kingdom is even harder. It's not going to be easy. I, I know that. But I'm going to try. I have to. Spoken like a true leader. You'll be meeting a lot more people soon, Evan. You have to listen to them, all of them. And you have to remember the things they tell you. It will make you a better king. I'll try my best. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking as if I know everything again. But I'm right, I think. I trust the person who taught me all of this more than anyone else in the world. And so should you. Until next time, Evan. Goodbye. But, oh. Who is that kid? Well, that's a sign of a life of servitude. But we can't well... Because we can't w very well up sticks and have every man, woman and child among us set out after a king. We don't even have a kingdom yet. Yeah. 
Yeah, and we don't just run off and leave the base empty either. Oi. What are you two talking about? Oh, we're just discussing the fact that we'll need to look for a suitable piece of empty land if we just start building a new kingdom. Oh no, that, that would be an awful pain in the neck, won't it? Why you could just raid a village somewhere and start out with that as your base? We are not raiding. We're not pirates, understand? <laughs> Alright, so I keep your hair on. What about is just having a bit of fun with you? Hmm. Mm. Anyway, if we're going to build a kingdom, we're going to need a good spot. Look location is everything. Or look at Roland's face. Talk about serious. That's because we're having a serious conversation. <laughs> but I suppose it does uh, look a little stern. New nation is uh, like a tiny defenseless animal. By which I mean its liability to be is liable to be swallowed by the first predator that comes along. The only way for it to grow is to put itself somewhere out of harm's way. Anywhere else and you will be overrun before you know it. So what kind of place do we need to look for them? Some place difficult to invade for sure. And uh, with plenty of natural resources, if you uh, if you got both, uh, if you got both, you got a chance. Some place like right there, yeah, that looks very defensible. Like, no, it really doesn't. Evan and his motley crew of would-be kingdom builders turned their gaze eastward to the heartlands. These verdant plains were as yet unclaimed by any nation. But would they prove a fitting place for Evan's promised kingdom? Chapter 3 The Town That Tempted Fate The heartlands aren't too far away. Straight down the mountains and past the ruins. Can we fly there? Well now. It ain't exactly that we can't fly there. But the winds of the cloud called Canyon that set the old sky chimmers up a soaring sea. Beyond the bounds of the valley things can get a mite hairy. Mm. I see, I think I'd prefer to walk. Listen here. Going by land Going by land isn't necessarily much safer, lad. There's a gaggle of bandits been bothering folks down around the, the ruins there of late. Huh. Bandits versus pirates, huh? Sounds like quite a showdown. Yeah. Yeah, there's loads of them as well. It won't be pretty. Then we'll have to go mob-handed. We've got a couple of, couple of ho 